Okay, moving on to module five, we're going to talk about change. And lesson one is about repeating failure. Now, if I haven't done my job properly, I have not caused pain for you yet. So hopefully, I have poked a little bit of pain for you to start working on some of the things that we've discussed. However, in this module, there's going to be pain. People don't like change. So we're really going to talk about an avenue and an area that people really, really hate discussing. Next to life insurance and death, this is probably the biggest topic people don't like to discuss. So let's get on lesson one and talk about repeating failure. First of all, human behavior is such to where you continue to repeat. Remember, you get more of that which you do. And we also know that in human behavior, people are self-interested. They're egocentric and the beliefs are imprinted. So let's look at repeating failure, what that means. It's all about a perception. People tend to create subconscious patterns. All of us do this. Those subconscious patterns are below the iceberg again, below the water. Above the water is the iceberg we see. That's our conscious thoughts. That's what we do constantly. That's the behavior we display. And we have that with us on a regular basis. And, but it's driven by what's beneath the surface. So we do the same actions and we expect different results. Now, <clears throat> Einstein called that a, a form of insanity, but just think about it for a moment. Think yourself through this. Do you really believe that you could do the same exact thing and get more than you got the first time you did that same exact thing? It's kind of difficult. It really doesn't work. If you poured water into half a bucket and then you went out and you decided to empty the bucket and start over and come back and pour water into half the bucket, you're still going to have a half a bucket of water. Now, maybe you think you do it faster, you do it sooner, you're still going to have a half a bucket of water until you fill the bucket. So you have to make a change somewhere. Failure is a state of mind. It's not real. There's no such thing as failure. Oh, there's a bad result, but that's not failure. Failure is a mindset that you take on. It's a fear. It's something that comes from doubt. So change is how to effectively work with that. Now, change creates discomfort. Change is a matter of the status quo. People are comfortable in the status quo. They don't want to be discomfortable. They want to stay in the status quo. So they have locked in beliefs. Now, we've discussed a lot about your beliefs, and we've discussed on changing those beliefs. But here's the thing. People are resistant to change. Those are closed-minded people. We talked about being open-minded. If you're going to stay resistant to change, you're never, ever going to move in a different pathway than you're going on. You're going to stay in the same road, and that road's down the road with the 95%. So success requires that you're willing, open-minded, and able to make change. And it comes from reasonableness. It means that you are willing to open your mind within a reasonable amount of time and effort and take the common sense approach. That's what you want to do in your finances. Okay? The continued perception of failure is in this 3D box. You see model failed to load. And that's where our minds usually go right away. We sense a lack of something being a failure. Or we sense that we didn't get it done well enough so we failed. Now, failure is a very positive event. Failure moves you towards success. You have to have a certain amount of failure. John Maxwell wrote a book called, you know, Fail Forward, Fail Fast, and Fail Often. So the idea of failure is, yeah, get it out of the way. When I used to coach baseball, I used to tell all our players, if you catch a ground ball and you're aiming to throw to first base and you throw it into the stands, we got a problem because that meant you were fearful of letting it go. I said, if you've got to throw it into the stands, go at it 100%. We can work with that because we can bring it down. But... Go after the things you want in life 100% because we can work and bring it back down. Fail fast. Fail often and get ready to move forward after you fail. All right. That's our first part of change. And this is going to continue through this entire module. So let's keep going and talk about change. I'll see you in the next lesson.